see a mullet is business in the front and then a party in the back. Come on, everybody, everybody hang your hand. Come on. You got a mullet. Oh, hang your hands in the air. Mullet going on. Round with me. Now, do you got a mullet? It, it is a beautiful, big, long. The mullet dates all the way back to the dawn of human civilization, where the Neanderthal man was clearly depicted with a short on top and long and back hairdo. Ancient Egypt also embraced the mullet lifestyle. Their mullets were woven wigs cut short over the scalp that precisely followed the contours of the wearer's head. Later came the Celtic mullet, which is the ancestor of modern day bikers, wrestlers, and heavy metal drummers. After the fall of the Roman Empire, however, the cut made a comeback, with the Visigoths and the Vikings supporting it. From the 12th century to the 14th, mullets were out. Hairstyles usually consisted of pudding bowl haircuts or shoulder length hair. But by 1465, the mullet page boycott became all the rage. But after that, the mullet was lost. People wore very short crew cuts and often wore wigs, but in the 18th century, the mullet made a proper comeback. It was called the romantic mullet and was considered worn by real men. Not until the rock era did the mullet return to its full glory. The Midwest Metal. This is seen in rock halls to mega halls, best breeding grounds, truck stops, pool halls, rock clubs, and body shots. The Nashville. This is the essential cut for your common redneck, fits neatly when you're downshifting the 18-wheeler. The Modern Rock. Bike messenger by day, rock god by night. The Classic Rock. Still by level after all these years. The Relief Pitcher. Lean and mean, the relief pitcher's talent takes him from the trailer park to the major league ball pen. As he strides to the mound in the bottom of the ninth, his bane flows from the back of his cap, every strand of hair gleaming with hope. The Latin soccer mullet. There is no more fearsome sight than the, a center forward coming straight at you, his mullet tresses blinding the defenders around him. The English mullet. This mullet stands tall in an uncertain world, eschewing the ever-changing fads of cool Britannia. The movie star. Always ready for the close-up, this mullet transforms the everyday matinee idol into a death-defying wild man, ideal for car chases, love scenes, and any cinematic moment that requires a little extra in the back. The lady mullet. The mullet isn't just a guy thing. It's today's hairstyle for the women on the go. The executive. For the rebel with the washroom key, he hears the ultimate dual purpose, have your cake and eat it too hairstyle. Short for when you face the boss, long for when you turn your back on society. The mullet deluxe. Some mullets simply rise above the rest. Deluxe is what you need when totally over the top isn't quite enough. The almost mullet. It's a pitiful sight. Men and women who lack the courage of their convictions, curbing the natural impulse to let their hair down. As long as you're with me, they're gonna find this funny. That looks like Talia. Voila! The Fit, new from Honda, The Fit is go. You want to go back to my trailer and have sex with my hair? <laughs> Let's go. No, I don't care what you guys think. All my new lesbian friends accept me, and that's all that matters. The mullet, commonly known as the short, long, or Alabama waterfall, splashed onto the scene in the 1980s. John Stamos had one, so did Richard Marks, and remember Billy Ray Cyrus? Mullets should be a federal offense, I think punishable by maybe a lifetime sentence in fashion prison. <laughs> Business in the front, party in the back. If your hair has to have its own slogan, it needs to be redone. There's nothing appealing about a haircut that is a combo. I feel like when I'm wearing a mullet, it's like you look at me and you take me seriously. You don't want to see me in a dark alley. You get it. And then I turn around, and let's party! You know, it's just fun, serious, fun, serious. It's kind of good for a hairdresser, because you're really doing half the work for the full price. <laughs> Cut the front, leave the back, $30. We don't know who's responsible for creating this hairstyle. Some credit America's favorite mom, Carol Brady. She called it a shag. We call it a don't. Freaking mullet, come on! Mullet. No, this isn't a mullet.
It's just, it's, it's just long. That was the power mullet. That mullet needed its own theme song. <laughs> that says it all right there, folks. Yeah, Billy Ray Cyrus became sort of a sex symbol off of that song. Uh, and if you tell why. That look of the tightish jeans and the high tops and the hair flowing it was a crime against our country. First of all, my butt is certifiably 1,000% unkickable. And second of all, my butt is irrelevant because nobody's coming over here. Gonna answer that? Hell yeah, why wouldn't I? I'm looking for a Dwayne mullet. Well, you can stop looking, because he's standing right. Anybody? This song is dedicated to the mullet haircut. Son, your hair is real short, but there's no bag is long. Well, if it is, then it really is, and you can sing my mullet.